Welcome to DreamGIS. Today we will learn how to join Excel dataset with the attribute table of SHP file in QGIS software. First, add a SHP file and open the attribute table. Now, now open an Excel file and arrange your data according to the attribute table of the respective SHP file. During this data arrangement, we must need to follow some rules such as spelling of block name in excel file and attribute table must be same if you use id number then block id for specific block must be same in both attribute table and excel file in this case we arrange our excel dataset according to attribute table by matching the name of the blocks now click on the file manager then click on save as now change the save as type into csv comma delimited and give a proper file name then click on save now click on save then click on ok then click on no and then click cancel now we successfully saved our file now open qgis and go to layer click on add layer then click on add delimited text layer here you need to add earlier saved csv data file click on browse and select your csv data file now you can see all data has successfully added here you need to follow some rules like the file format must be csv and geometric definition must be no geometry then click add and close now go to layer panel and right click on target shp file then click on properties after that click on join now click on the green plus sign here you need to add or select the layer very carefully first of all in the join layer we need to select added csv data file in the join field we need to select the matched field in the csv file which is same to a field in the attribute field now select the matched attribute field of shp file in the target field now click on ok then click on apply again we go to the layer panel and right click on the shp file and click on open attribute table now you can see that our excel data was successfully added to the attribute table and we can see the level of the data or level of the column by expanding the cell size now go to the layer and click on properties then click on symbology and change the single symbol to graduated now we select the field of density in the value field we change the precision level and click on classify to create classes and then change the class type and the mode of classification then click on apply and ok thank you for watching this video